Oftentimes, plants themselves are anchored in place and immobile by roots. Seeds help to fill this gap in movement by dispersing to more favorable environments. Overcrowding isn't sustainable, and dispersing seeds farther away from the parent plant to sites where more suitable conditions exist can reduce conspecific competition for water, sunlight, nutrients, and space. The dispersal of seeds can change plant numbers and communities over time, allowing species to move and colonize new habitats. Some of the ways that seeds disperse are through gravity, where the seeds simply fall to the ground like apples, black locust tree seed pods, common mullein, and teasel seeds. Oftentimes, this allows for farther transmission by animals like forgotten walnuts and acorn previously stored for winter, for example. And birds who also eat the fruit of plants such as wild grape, Virginia creeper, European buckthorn, and staghorn sumac, which disperses the seeds in their droppings after digestion. On the other hand, some plants have also developed fur and feather hitchhiking adaptations, like hooks, barbs, and spines. This is displayed by species such as the common burdock, devil's beggar tick, and enchanter's nightshade. Ballistic seed dispersal is another adaptation to release seeds through explosive dehiscence. A noteworthy example is the common jewelweed, which rapidly releases a seed when touched. Garlic mustard, silique, and common milkweed follicles also undergo dehiscence and open at seed maturity. The milkweed also develops white hairs that allow for wind dispersal as well. Other species with wind capabilities are sow thistle, Canada goldenrod, and maple and ash samara. Common cattail also disperses well in the wind and in the water. Lastly, humans play a large role in seed dispersal, with many activities like farming, gardening, recreation, and transportation causing widespread, deliberate, and accidental introductions and cultivations.